let's work with attachment constraints in 3ds Max. What I want to set up is when this box gets close to the sphere, I want the sphere to stick to the box and then move with the box after that point. Notice I have this other little box in here too. It's going to help me kind of position my sphere correctly once it attaches to the big box. So the first thing I want to do with that is select the little box and then we're going to go ahead and select and link. That just makes it a child of the parent. And we'll drag the little dash line out over the parent and click on that. And that should be linked up nicely. So when I move the parent now, the little box moves with it. Now turn on Auto Key. And we'll go to frame 20. And we'll move the big box close to the sphere. And move it back away. And of course, nothing happens now. It does the sphere won't attach to the box. But we can set something up. Click on the sphere. Under Animation menu, and under the Constraint submenu, select Attachment Constraint. And you can get another dashed line. Go ahead and click over the tiny little box. And now the sphere is attached to that. So of course, when the big box moves, the sphere goes with it. But we're, we don't want it to move the whole time, so we're going to actually keyframe the weight. And under the Motion tab in the Command Panel, you can see the attachment weight. Well, I'm going to turn on Auto Key again. And at frame 20, actually make this frame 19, let's go and set that weight to 0, which means that it won't be attached at all. I'm going to have to go back to frame 0 and also set it to 0. And then at frame 20, I want to set the weight to 100. If all works out well now, the cube should move. And the sphere sticks to it. Of course, we can do some other little adjustments with the line that alignment of the little cube to make that little jump go away but I'll let you figure that out for yourself.